Hi everyone, welcome to the brief demo video of Search and Filter Pro. My name's Ross, I'm the creator of Search and Filter Pro and I'm going to take you through a quick overview of some of the features it has to offer. So what you see here is the end result, uh, a fake film review demo site with a search and filter form in the sidebar. And I'm just going to play with the filters a bit here so you can get an idea of what it's like to use a search form. And that's about it. Now let's have a look at how it all works in the back end. So here we're looking at the main search and filter tab, the main search and filter menu. And we can see a list of the search and filter forms that we've already created here. And we're just going to go edit search movies, which is the form you've just seen working on the front end. Here you've got your create or edit search form screen, which has got four main widget areas. That's the available fields, the search form UI, the settings, and the Ajax widget areas. In the settings, you can change the post types that the search form uses. You can change the template that it uses. Um, you can specify your own PHP file, and you can set a slug for your search results to display on. Then you've got the Ajax widget which allows you to enable disable Ajax, change the auto submit settings and specify the content selector where you want your search results to display. And if you want your pagination to work with Ajax, just specify a selector here. Okay, now it's time to start really building the form. So we're gonna use the drag and drop widget builder to start building a search form. So you can see here in this search form UI, you've got the um, all the different fields from the front end. So you've got the search field, the taxonomy for genres, certificates, post date, author, and the submit button. And let's have a quick look at the front end again. You can see that it all matches up to the uh, the order of the fields that we specified in the back end. And we can add fields by dragging them over from the available fields area to the search form UI. You can edit any of the fields by clicking on the title where you'll be presented with options specific to that field. In this case, for the search form, we've got the heading and placeholder text inputs. So these are the modifications we can make to the search field. Okay, so we've covered the basics really. So we're going to start now with a new search form that I've created specifically for this demo. And we're going to go and edit that and we're going to create a very very simple search form in literally uh, in a matter of minutes so as you can see here it's a very empty search form it says you would have it when you create a new search form there's just a few settings and things like that that are pre-configured on here such as like the template file and i've made sure I, uh, ajax is disabled as well as setting my post type to the movies post type i'm using for my movie listings so let's go have a look at the page that we'll be using to display the results for this search form as you can see, the sidebar widget is empty, just like the search form UI. So let's start by dragging some fields in. That's the search field done. Now let's add a submit button. Then we hit update and we can have a look at the changes in the front end. And there you go, our search input field and our submit button. Let's do a quick test search. And there's our results for the search term now. 
Let's go and add some more fields to the search form. We're going to set one up for genre and position it above the submit button. We're going to have this one as a drop down um, and we can add a heading. Just update that and refresh. And there we go, we've got a drop down with all the genres listed. So we can just have a look there, go into action. And you can see the results with the action genre being shown. So let's change this genre field to the drop down to a different type of field. For tags, categories, and taxonomies, we've got these four fields. So let's change that to a checkbox and have a look. So there we go, all our genres, this is a checkboxes. So we'll just select a couple of those and search. Some fields have got uh, advanced options, so you've got even more settings for those fields. And now we'll select an author field to add to the form. Set this as a radio buttons, give it a heading. I want to put some options on this time, like the display count, which shows how many posts there are for each author, show the full name, and hides the empty authors. And there we go, you can see the genre drop down is still there, and now we've got the added uh, authors list as radio buttons. So now we're looking at all the posts by Colin Merton and adding a search term. Okay, let's get some Ajax working on this demo now. So we're just going to enable the Ajax here. Auto submit is on so that the search results update as we change the form. Um, and the content selector and pagination selector have already been preset up. Let's go back to the page and refresh. And now everything should be working with Ajax. So the genres have automatically updated. And we can type in a search term here, which will refresh with a slight delay. And we can go back and add a one more field to the date field. So we can search between post dates, just give that a heading and make it a date range rather than a single date. Update. And there we go, we've got two date inputs which are both jQuery date pickers. So we'll set a date range that's from the 1st of January to the 1st of March. And you can see there the results are all within those dates. There are a lot of fields and options that I haven't gone into for this demo. So make sure you check the product page and to see exactly what it does and doesn't do. And what, you know, what each field will offer you within terms of options and configurations. But that's about it for the demonstration of setting up a search form. I'm just going to show you quickly how to add the search form to your theme and that is by shortcodes or by adding a widget. And there you have it, Search Filter Pro. Links to the demos and more info is in the comments. Thanks for watching.